tonight on Old Spirits. OSI concludes their investigation into the Belmont Farm Distillery of Culpeper, Virginia, delving deeper into the shadows of the historic property. Following review of their data, T and Phil return to Belmont to offer owners Chuck and Jeanette Miller their own theories to what they uncovered. Forever. Forever. We heard that uh, Chuck's granddad was back here. Sir, are you here? Have either one of you had anything like that where you've heard somebody sigh and you know that wasn't no, you? No, I can't say I've heard that. I've heard other things, but not that. Farms Distillery Investigation. Very excited about this portion because we take it to Heaven's Lane. So here's why we call it Heaven's Lane. <laughs> and I'm going to set the scene for you. It's hot. It's pretty humid. And we are in a barrel room surrounded by rum, single malt whiskeys, and bourbon. Or I should say alcohol that is done in the style of bourbon but it can't be called bourbon because it's not right, a Kentucky. 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 Mm -hmm. But you get what I mean. The smell, <laughs> the aroma of it this place. is just <sighs> intoxicating. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, unlike unlike the uh, the Octagon Mansion, I was in long, I was in I was in jeans. I didn't care. No, I just I would just go in and I would just be like, oh, you know, just uh, taking in the, just... the, the smell. And then of course we got some fantastic photographs of us goofing around, but having a really good time. Your wife got us some great yeah, she shots. Really, did. She did. really good shots. She did. She's she so did. talented. Uh, but yeah, this is where you're going to see us doing something called a double Estes. Now we're not going to do too much in the way of giving giving away what happened, but no. I will say this: it's a lot calmer and a bit more focused. Yeah, that that's that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good compared to compared to the octagon. Yeah. <laughs> But before we get to that, mm. enjoying the videos, like what you see here at the channel, having a great time being a part of Old Spirits Investigations, wonderful viewer community. Well, make sure to like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, if you're new here and you just feel you're just a little bit interested in what's going on, make sure to subscribe, enable those notifications so you know when new content is dropping because we love to share this content and we love to share it with you. And sometimes even real time when we do premieres, we get to share that moment together when everyone's seeing it for the first time. Notifications will get you there. Also, we are supporting now a membership program. Go on ahead and become a member of the channel. That will get you access to behind the scenes footage, bloopers, and even extra investigations that didn't make it into the final episode. But I am gonna ask everybody to stick around after we're done with the double Estes, because we also do a special evidence reveal to Chuck over at the Belmont Farm Distillery. Trust me, anytime you get time with Chuck, it's worth it. So, without any further ado, here we go. Now, Phil, you were saying. Thank you, sir. I, I heard a uh, kid's voice from behind the barrels. Okay. Also, watch where you're walking. I see it. I see it. Well, no. Ah, that was me. It is the gear gauntlet. It is the gear gauntlet. Okay, I'll put an like audio like recorder down here. Watch that. That was me. Deactivated the show. Oh, okay. Well, now we know all the, num all the voices. Uh, so you're filming. You're filming. Who's, a who's asking questions? Should we just... Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Um, okay. Well, it's a lot harder to do double SDs when I don't have the spirit box. Oh, it's behind. How about, could you please pass me the spirit box? <laughs> could you please pass me the spirit box? This is a great spirit box. Can you show yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check. <laughs> you jackass. 
Well, she already said kiss my ass once tonight, so you know. Hey. Did I say kiss your ass? Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Please hold. Please hold. Hold up your hands when you're ready to go. Where's this go? Xbox. I'm good. I am good. Okay. Who's here with us tonight? The kids stop. Did the kids stop? Yeah. Right, One of them. Wow. How many kids have we got here with us tonight? Men. Okay. Boys and men. For you. So I say, we create. Oh, you do? Right. What do you create? I don't bite. Hey. Hey. Who are we talking to? Animal taste. Ooh. Animal taste. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, indeed. Is that alright? Meat whip. Okay. Meat with who? Are you waiting for someone? Emboldened. Here. Is that a soldier? Change it. No. Wait. You see? Waiting for the train? Yeah. Are you waiting for the train? Did you feel that? No. Do you want to touch one of us? Do you want to touch one of them? They call me. <laughs> Who's calling you? You want to touch one of them? They call me. Who's calling you? It's 2020. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I don't want to go for 20. Yep. <laughs> Making me laugh. Okay. Ordinary. That's ordinary. Is Chuck's grandfather here? Birds, singing birds, Ooh, like the sound of birds. Did you live here? Crazy. Everything. Do you like what Chuck's done here? Making whiskey? Is the man that was talking to Pip before here? Yep. Oh, okay. Happy. Oh, that's nice. Whistling. Hourly. Oh, sound of whistling. Oh. Phil. Oh. Watch. Yeah, that, yeah, that's Phil. We're watching Phil. What are you going to do? The children. Get ready. Get ready for what? Got an hour. We do have about an hour. Then. Good to know. It's 1 30. Hmm. Not yet. It. Are you happy that we're here? Can I talk to you? I'm an American. Red, red. Red, red. Red, red. 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 red
Is red blood? For 80s. Were you one of the soldiers injured here? Hi, Mom. For her. Can you say hi, Mom? Yeah, you say hi, Mom. Is the boy it's here? It's all red. It's like you're talking to two different people. Yeah. Are you from the Union? Are you from the Mitchell family? Hi, T. Oh. Hey, they both, they know, you know both their names. Session. Do you recognize T? Glass. Yes. The cycle. Can you tell us about you? We really would like to communicate to anyone that's here. It's all good. Oh, it's nice. Bird walk. Good, there's no birds. Do you like the so birds? all right? Is that an accent? You're killing me. Oh. You mean like, can I just a little bit? That was like a really sad voice. Oh. Are you the person? Almost pain. Oh my gosh, are you, are you the person that was in pain earlier? Are you injured? Let me explain. We would love to hear your explanation. It's defective. <laughs> What's defective? Are we able to have Was a conversation? Never... With both of you? You have two people here you can see. All people, old people. <coughs> Do you know the Mitchells? Friday night. This is like that party conversation we had. Yeah. You having a party here? It is Friday. It is night. Yeah. It's the cycle again. Hmm. What cycle are you talking about? Angels. Are you talking? Get here. Oh. Those on a different thing. These on a different phone. This is T. I just I just gotta say, I feel like there's someone standing right to my on my right hand side. I feel like I can feel like someone's body heat. Okay. Standing right next to me. Who's standing next to T? Who's talking to Phil? Can you tell us your names or anything about you? It's a trap. That makes me think of Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> it's a trap. I feel like something's touching me. Looking at another. Come back. I seen. There's people out there. Phil is facing towards the creek where the battle went down. That's interesting. I mean, they're definitely not going to come. Or us, I feel. No. So come over here. Incoming. Trend. No. Now they're both feeling people. On my shoulder. I'm begging. Did he say someone the next one? Yeah. And then Phil just said somebody was on the other side. What's the one he had before? The top there. That's a, I think it's an email. Okay, going off one. Oh, okay. We'd love to know. This is T again. This is T again. I'm, I, I, for a second, I thought I smelled cigarette smoke. Ooh. I don't know why I'm smelling it because you wouldn't have well, it back here, but I'm smelling cigarette smoke. Yeah, we were told not to smoke back here. Because it might ignite something. Who's smoking in this barrel room? You know that's dangerous, right? Forever. Forever. My girlfriend, my dead girlfriend. Oh gosh. Okay. Did you lose someone you love? Father's Day. I'm being touched on the news again. Oh my. And her dog ate. That's me. Uh, <laughs> don't come in. That's 
parents that don't come in. Are you enjoying Night, night. <laughs> wow, that really went up. Awesome. Those are the wind, the words in the wind. Hey, it seems like Phil was talking to a poet, was I? <laughs> like, having some sort of a romantic conversation about girlfriend and stuff. Phil. Like Thorns. Jimmy. Jimmy. Do you know Catherine? Hey. What is this place to you? Honky. 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 I can't. What do you think about these two gentlemen trying to talk to you? It can be. I'm at your right elbow. Oh, okay. Down. Oh! <laughs> Are you switched having conversations now? Like, like the Phil's having the touching. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Knock, here we go. Knock somewhere. Move something. Can you tell us? Forever again? and ever. Wow. NFL. Oh. Can you describe one of us here? What we look like? So we know if you can see us? How many of okay. us? Oh, okay. Okay. Again. Careful. 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 Oh, sorry, it's off. It's on the other side, you know. Yeah. Is that you? I just heard an old man's voice on here. I don't know what it said, but it was an old man's voice, and something inside me just said that was that was Chuck's grandfather. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I heard that old man's voice very clearly. We don't actually know the name of Chuck's grandfather. Wrong. No, no he didn't tell us. Chuck knows, yeah. Chuck knows. You ladies. Oh. What about us? Are we asking too many questions? I did it. What did you do? Okay. I could do it all day. Okay. <laughs> uh, ladies. For the loan. What were you learning? Man. Where? Is there a man well, down? Is there a man down there? Rossi. Oh. They really know your name, Phil. Well, since you know their name, why don't you tell you. why don't you tell them your name? Please. You please will you tell us your name? I need to go. Get revenge. Ooh. Need to go get revenge? Why do you need help revenge? For her. Out the way. You want to say? Hey, hey, you. Raining. We stop them. You. If we don't get anything clear, we're gonna tap these boys out. Is there anything, last things you want to say? How high? No way. If you want it. <laughs> now you're getting really uh, a little saucy there. Who are you? Well, I'm 
Pip. We've got two Christinas here. We've got a Colombian one. We're going here. Okay. Is there somebody here? Stop. Oh. You want us to stop? Just need a yes or a no. Say it. feel? Is that you, brother? <laughs> Try to be gentle. That was not as, as, as jumpy as I uh, was in the other room. Yeah. What's that? I said I was not as jumpy as I was in the I other room. I should have been. I Both felt... of you interestingly said, T said there was someone standing on his right, and then you left Lean down on your right. Interesting. <laughs> and something went off down there. Yeah. And yeah. this was going off as well. Was this going off? The 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 the, uh, the um, spike. I've got a. I've, what did it sound like over there? It looked sound oh. like Simon. Oh. Like Simon. Simon was going on. Okay. Okay. That's what it sounded like. It was like. Whew. I'm wasted. <laughs> <laughs> well, the weird thing was that I was smelling these beautiful barrels in front of me. Anyway. And then out of nowhere, I got this really acrid smoke in my nostrils. Well, that's because I lit up a cigar. Is that? Is that well, what you did? Chuck did tell us not to light up any cigars. I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. Boom. Could you stand over here? Because right now your back is to the street. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. So it was. Uh, I just finally just found this acrid. The thing that really pulled me out of it though was I heard this very. It just popped. Yeah. You this see that? old man's voice, and my. My instinct kicked in and said, "That was Chuck's granddad." Hmm. And I don't. And, and it was just—it was just sort of the texture of the voice. Mm -hmm. It sounded like somebody who would make moonshine. <laughs> you know, and, and, but and, and I don't know what it said. It was—it was a real clipped, uh, clipped phrase or whatever it was. But we're not um, talking to each other. What was that? No, it's a very you, different conversation. Yeah, you were having like an almost poetic conversation, oh, Bill. Me? Yeah. Of course like, you were. You know, forever and yeah, ever. Yeah, and we were like talking about like it sounded like like crossing over too. Yeah, oh, wow. angels, that sort of stuff. Over here. Don't cover up the light, honey. Thank you. <laughs> we know Tina's got a punchy right yeah. face. I know she she's is, but you, but you know what? You know what? She's not the one that's editing this stuff. Well, um, but she has a way to phrase it, Morris, and it's called not being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The thing is, though, Tina, was that Pip already called me an asshole tonight. That was a spirit. That was the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Spirits don't count. You think that up with the spirits. <laughs> spirits think you're an asshole. Spirits think it. No, spirits say, kiss my ass. That's the one in the tasting room. So. Oh, uh, man. What time is it? It's 10 10.30. 10 oh, okay. So we've still got an hour and a half. Hour and a half right? I was actually planning. I wanted, the la I wanted to spend the last hour out in the... Um, that was the green light. Green light went off on the uh, on Simon. Oh, interesting. You like the idea of us going up, going out there? Because I can leave. I, you know, we can leave. Like we actually got. It didn't say we have. I have to go. And or I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Well, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just being a little pulled for outside. I didn't know if there was anything else you wanted to do. You can sit out in the, it's pretty nice and cool out there now. Oh, sure. It is, is now uh, in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Cool is relative, right? <laughs> cool is relative. Well, I, I did want to I, I, I see, though, if there was, any, if there was anything. Because, man, I'm, I'm, I have felt a pull. I wanted to save this. One, this is one of the places I wanted to save for last because I was feeling a pull back here. Right. Was it the the yes, that was that's part of it. But is there now I saw the, the Simon going off. I saw the, the lights going green. Is there somebody back? Can you help me? We would love to help you. We would love to help you if, if we knew what was the problem. 
responsible. Yeah, I, 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 he's responsible. I don't know if I'd call no, ourselves no, no, responsible, but I don't know is uh is there anybody here that's with us right now? That's still over there, isn't it? Yeah, he's walking. I'll tell you what, I'm going to knock on this fine barrel of whiskey here. If you can knock back. Or just let me know you're here, okay? True. In fact, when you're doing uh, testing the barrels, I think you do. Yeah, you do knock on them. We heard that uh, Chuck's granddad was back here. Sir, are you here? We heard that uh, Chuck's granddad was back here. Sir, are you here? We heard that uh, Chuck's granddad was back here. Sir, are you here? Did you hear that? No, that was it down there. I thought I heard something move back there. Or C back here. They claim late at night you can hear footsteps. Somebody okay. walking around. And some lady came and took a picture of me and she got a lot of doubles. Like, like outside. We would if there is a message. Bedroom. Hmm. Well, Chuck might be in his bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> but if there's a message that you would like us to pass on to Chuck, if you're his grandfather or if you're just somebody who's here, we would love share. Yeah, we would love to share any message you have to Chuck. We might not hear it straight away. Sees. Sounds. No, I don't. Well, I suppose this is kind of a seance and a somewhat similar bit. <coughs> you guys can always face each other. Yeah. I know you guys will love that. That's no, what it's your energy. You like make a circle. Make a circle? Yeah, make a circle. We had I, um, I, I, will, I will say this. If, if, uh, if Chuck's granddad is here, I want you to know he's getting it right. He makes really good whiskey. You have every right to be proud. Hmm? What? Was that? what? Uh, I heard Tina say something. What? I was saying, watch out for the puck. Watch out for the puck. Watch out for the puck, Phil. That's me. And there's both of them. You haven't tried any of the alcohol here yet, have you? I haven't. I can lick one of these barrels. No, don't lick one of these barrels. Tina will be carrying you home, she'll be blaming me. 12, that's a 10-year-old whiskey right there. That's me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in the range of this motion right or not. So I like the rum. You'll know when you hit it. Oh. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Phil? Who is that? Who is that? Who did that? At least we knew that the uh, at least we knew the mannequin was down here. Bourbon, I want the bourbon. Yes, the bourbon here is is very good. I believe we have some of the <coughs> bourbon. I believe we do have some of the we bourbon at home. Pick up the one at, see, we, we did pick up the one, didn't we? The it's amazing bourbon here. It is fantastic stuff. Outrageous. It's outrageous. outrageously good. It is outrageously good. <laughs> But yeah, let's just uh, let's just let's just enjoy this moment with with the lights and the. Security I mean, guy. look at this. Just look at this place, everybody. There is something very very special about this uh, about what uh, what is done in here. And are we going lights out? We're going lights out again. Ooh, <laughs> perfect. All right. all right, let's all go quiet. Okay. 
please. Don't quiet. Quiet on the set. Did you set that off? I did not. I'm trying not to move here because, <laughs> like. I whispered. That was behind me. All right. Um, everybody be quiet for just a moment. I'm just going to do the knocking again. So let me just see what happens. That's me. There's no way that could have been me. This is me moving back and forth. I just want to see if I can make that one go off. I know it's going to make this one go off, but I did not make that one go off. <clears throat> if you're here in, uh, let me try that again. <laughs> if you're in here with us, can you give us some kind of a sign? Any sign of your choice. That one's just switching over to the next file. Damn it. <laughs> the timing. I feel like you're here with us. I'm hearing movement over here behind the barrels. It's not behind the barrels, it's it's on the other side of this this wall. The distillery. Here we are at Belmont Farm Distillery. Here we are. This so just so you two know, this was a Christmas surprise. When I when I had locked in the date, locked in the time, <laughs> I gave Phil. Uh, what was it? I gave him. I gave you the snifter. It was it was the snifter and the coffee mug and the coffee mug. Yes, those coffee mugs are fantastic. By the way, I, use, oh, it, I oh. use it every day. <laughs> we love those and coffee mugs. Good. And <clears throat> so it was a very Merry Christmas knowing that in a few months we'd be coming here right. uh, ah. to spend some time in this incredible, incredible spot. It, this, this place was so much fun. We, uh, we had a friend from out west that uh, came in and she had, never, she had always wanted to go on a ghost hunt. And I said, well, then you're going to love where we're taking you. And a, a big thank you, Chuck, for coming in and checking on us. Uh, during the night, uh, we, we featured in the sh we featured in the episode, and it's some of the best footage I think we've ever shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But um, absolutely. you're 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 a charmer. All right, well, great. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for this one. <laughs> Maybe too a little late for that. I think they're a little late for that. Too many years gone by. <laughs> well, Chuck, Jeanette, um, not that you asked, not that you asked about whether or not we thought the place was haunted or not, but. We have four clips that we wanted to share with you tonight based on the stuff that we picked up on our visits here. And the plan is we're going to go ahead and show you these clips, talk a little bit about them, see if you've had anything mm -hmm. similar to these, uh, mm -hmm. these, these instances that we caught on video and audio. But before we do, before we get in, into these four clips, we caught a lot of stuff. We did. Both uh, on our devices and both just the experiences that we had here. Uh, it was a very lively space for us, and between hearing noises, being touched, it was it was quite a phenomenal night. And really? so I just want to say again, thank you for opening your doors. Well, you guys had a good time. Oh, yeah. we did. And you know, we, we, well, being dads, we have to make the joke that we're well aware there are spirits here at the distillery. <laughs> we're well aware of the spirits here at the distillery. But as far as the ghosts go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this was this was our first our first head turner. Now this was actually the preliminary. This was when we first got here. Um, this is before Phil came in. Mm -hmm. It was just me and Pip, and you gave us a fantastic tour. Uh, I, I I love to tell people it was one of the one of the best tours ever because you came out of the box strong with you know brash honesty as you do you know saying 
Well, there's nothing really here, but uh, we've seen shadow figures here. We've heard kids play over here. <laughs> we've heard voices over here. I'm like, okay then. Yeah. All right, but nothing's happening here. Okay, Chuck, That's gotcha. Right. Nothing happening. Nothing's nothing happening here. here. Well, let me go on ahead and challenge you that with this uh, this little instance right here. This is, uh, so, so let me set the scene. This is in the gift shop. Um, and Pip is with one of your associates in, the, uh, in this tasting room. You and I, Chuck, are on the other side of the camera, and we're talking about uh, EMF and how that works with the devices. And this was the first thing we picked up. There's a lot of electric, electricity being put out. Like if I, if I took this back uh, to where, to if you had your, your, uh, your bottle machine going, this thing probably would be very hot. You know? So I'm just, I'm just trying to see if there's anything out of the ordinary. Um, there's a lot of electric, electricity being put out. Like if I, if I took this back uh, to where, to if you had your, your, uh, your bottle machine going, this thing probably would be very, very hot. You know? So I'm just, I'm just trying to see if there's anything out of the ordinary. Um, so what you might, what you want to notice is that, is that I'm talking, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. you pointed out, Jeanette, and I don't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. um, you don't hear Chuck say a word, but that doesn't... Because he doesn't have a chance to. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. okay. But that, ex and, and then of course you've got, in the other room, you've got, you've got my wife, Pip, talking to your associate, and then that exhale pops up. And that exhale is not Chuck, because... Chuck doesn't exhale that way. I, 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 in the few times that I've met him, I don't think he exhales that way. Additionally, it's so high pitched, it sounds female. Well, I was saying it had a very feminine <coughs> sound yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. And to me, what it sounds like, someone takes a drink of something nice and they take a sip and they go, ah, really? is the kind, is the kind of, that's what it sounded like to me. Okay. Exactly. Which, you, you tell where it was? It was right here, just, as, just outside of the gift shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and. When, when you have those, the, the, and this is sometimes how you find EVPs or electronic voice phenomenon, because I know I didn't hear anything at the time. Mm -hmm. Pip and your associate didn't hear anything at the time, and they were back, uh, they, they were actually at yeah. that doorway mm -hmm. there. And had that been Pip or your associate, your associate would have had to have paused to make that kind of right. exhale. It was very pronounced. Yeah. <sighs> and the other thing you'll notice too is that and we listen to so much of this audio, your ears become well, you know in tune hear. with just yeah. what sounds further away from the microphone and, and what sounds closer. And so the voices, you guys chatting, and that, that sigh, the sigh was closer to the microphone than the chatting of the exactly. voices. Exactly. And where what were I, you standing? I was standing behind the, behind the, uh, the camera with Chuck. Oh. So I think, in fact, if I remember correctly, the camera was close to where your uh, cash register is. Oh. So mm -hmm. associate and Pip here. Mm -hmm. Chuck and I were back in the other tasting room mm -hmm. with the jug band. Oh. Mm -hmm. So for it to pop that loud and on the f and on the last replay, what I had done is I had taken out the air conditioning so you could hear that a little easier. That side had to have been standing right next to the camera yeah, and, for it and, to go off. And what I will say too, from a personal experience perspective, that night, not at that specific moment, but later on in the evening, a couple times, I heard some. It sounded like someone sighing near me, but I would either be all alone, or if I was with with my wife, for example, I would ask her, "Did you just sigh?" And she said, "Well, no." I said, "Did you hear that?" And she said, "No." <laughs> So uh, it kind of it, it adds up with what we were experiencing throughout have, the night. Have either one of you had anything like that where you've heard somebody sigh and you know that wasn't no, you? No, I can't say I've heard that. I've heard other things, but not that. Like yeah. what? Well, are you going to go to other rooms? So we are. We are just wait yeah. till you get to other rooms. Okay, yeah. fair uh, enough. I fair think enough. that's fair. So speaking of other rooms, <laughs> he's and, a pro. And <laughs> going pro. back to adding up. <laughs> So this is a really interesting uh, example of, of how not only things add up, like, like uh, as Phil was saying, with, with hearing things, but also with the reason why we have so many different devices. Uh, currently, this is Pip, she is currently running a, an app that we use on our phones called GhostTube. And it's, it's, a, it's an app designed by other paranormal investigators. <clears throat> so she's sitting here there's another device here. I've nicknamed it Simon, but that one is, it's called a, uh, it's called a Flux 2. It reads 
motion on either side of it, and sometimes temperature changes, and it'll either turn red or green. So okay. if you were to wave your hand in front of either side yeah. of that object, it would, one, one side or the other would light up. Okay. And now off camera, there is a REM pod. And a REM pod is that circular device with the antenna mm -hmm. that when your hand gets close to it, it goes off and it, and it, and it just, it, different lights go off and different sounds go off. It's very loud. I did bring one that I can show to you once, mm -hmm. once we wrap here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a really interesting uh, find and I, I smile every time I, I, I watch this clip. Uh, and we, we do have a replay of it, so you can see sort of the connection, but... And before you do that... Yes, sir. I do want to say that I'm usually the more on the believer side, but when it comes to the apps, I've always been a little bit mm -hmm. of a hard sell with the apps. But enough has happened that we've caught on these apps with the words that come through that it, it's gotten harder and harder and harder for me just to write it off. What GhostTube has in it just to... Bring, bring up the speed on that. And there will be a quiz at the there end. There will be a quiz okay. later. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have okay. to pass? Yeah. You, have to, you have to pass <laughs> okay. or drinks are on the house. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, GhostTube has what's called a word bank. And the theory, and there are a lot of theories in the paranormal, that uh, what happens is that spirits can use electromagnetic frequencies to manipulate devices, and a word bank will generate words at random unless spirits are involved and then it has something directly involved with the property or the questions being asked or things like that. Let's watch this and see what happens. Brandy. Brandy. Brandy, interesting. Do you mean Brandy? Graveyard. Graveyard. Brandy Graveyard. Is Brandy in the graveyard? No, actually. All right, so this is where, this is where it can get a little tricky. Because brandy could also be, re be a reference to brandy station. That's true. Oh, what? did anybody notice that? What? <laughs> what happened? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, now there's a lot of stuff going on here. All right. All right. Okay. Point the camera at it. <laughs> putting, putting. I'll point the camera at the ball. I think. See it. Well, we also have we also have that one. So we're good. We're good. Now there's more going on than we can capture at the moment. So T's gonna stitch it together. For right, you. so the reason why I'm saying this is where it all kind of adds up, we get Brandy, and you heard the conversation where I like Brandy, and we're talking about the alcohol, and then Simon goes red over here. Which red wow. means no. Red means no. As we've communicated we have to established the spirits. that. Right. We said, hey, if you wanna communicate with us, green means yes, red means no. So right away. So Brandy, automatically drink. after that you say, oh, I like Brandy. Yeah, yeah, are we having a drink? Boom, this goes red. And then when we, uh, then we get graveyard. And when you think about the Battle of Brandy Station, which did not happen far from here. Yeah. 1,300 casualties on both Union, uh, uh, sorry, combined Union and CSA. And then the REM pod goes off. Right, right after graveyard. It, right after graveyard. Mm -hmm. You're, you're wondering, oh, and this is why you see so many devices deployed. We, we are trying to see if something we say or, or, an, or something is, is implied right. triggers any yeah. of these devices. It doesn't happen often where we have multiple things just going off like that, yeah, that in succession. Happen. Maybe every, you know, every few months that may happen if we're lucky. And it is, even in the moment, it's very overwhelming because you don't know where to look. <laughs> You don't even know exactly what you're thinking in that moment, and then it's nice when you have it documented, and then you can kind of come back. Well, and you know, we did have a battle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. There yeah. Were men that died here. Exactly. Yeah. So the fact that you get brandy, mm -hmm. and you're so close to Brandy Station, mm -hmm. and then you get Graveyard right after that, mm -hmm. in the moment, I did not put that together. No. And then I get home, and I'm reviewing, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> and and then when people ask me. Uh, so when are you the most scared? It's when I'm reviewing evidence because at moments like that, I didn't realize the REM pod was going off, mm -hmm. that Simon went off. And Simon was saying no after our friend mentioned Brandy the drink. I, I'm usually the skeptic between the two of us. But when you see things line up like that, the responses or the devices, and then mm -hmm. the, the words that are being chosen at random, right. it's, it's really hard to just dismiss that. Yeah. 
and uh, and especially with all the his you pointed out, Jeanette. A lot of history. A lot of history. Because yeah. I know there's the Battle of Brandy Station, but mm -hmm. isn't is that that's Battle something? Battle of Cedar Mountain. Yeah. Battle, Battle of Cedar, Cedar Mountain, Mountain as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here, yeah, we found bullets. Actually, oh, we found really? teeth prints in a bullet. You don't. Wow. Say it. Yeah. Oh, you know what that means. That's uh, yeah, that that's bloody right. footprint yeah. time. You're you're yeah. you're visiting the doctor. Well, and it's yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's right. We supposedly had a field hospital here. That's no right. No kidding. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you don't see that light turn red. That's what I was trying to look at. Oh, yeah. Back, the, yeah actually, so actually, let's back that up. We can slow, back that up. Back it up nice and slow. And back that up. Back that clip up. We see that often here. Okay. Let's work it on. Yeah. Well, we also have we also have that one. So we're good. We're good. Okay. Here we go. Brandy. 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 Not yet. Brandy, interesting. Do you mean? Right oh, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. So you hear yeah. say, "I like brandy." And it's, no. Yeah. Yeah. Not that brandy. Yeah. Not, not that, that brandy. brandy. Which uh, again, again, that's as as, uh, as Phil has got me to say often. That's quite compelling. It's compelling. It's quite you know, it's, compelling. It's hard to dismiss. Well, I should outright. tell you a little story about that bar. Okay. Please, please do. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. Because there were some other paranormal people here once. Right. And they did the same thing you did, put that little gadget on the bar. Mm -hmm. And then they'd guess if there was any spirits in the room. And she's sitting at the bar, that little bar in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then they ask, and you get and you get this uh, recorder they have, but you can't hear it until you play it back. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. So she finally makes conversation with the ghost. And he's sitting on the other bar stool, and she's sitting on this bar stool. And she keeps asking him questions, and they play it back and get an answer. They ask another question, play it back and get an answer. I mean, they were going to have yeah. a conversation for mm -hmm. 15 minutes at the same place where you were. Same spot. Same, same spot. spot. I've got something to say. But that was a real rough, was a rough, rough voice. voice. They he were said probably, he was a Southerner. He mm -hmm. was uh, killed in battle. It was probably uh, the, uh, there's, there's a device that's very popular in paranormal circles where, um, it, it's only voice activated recording. It's basically everybody goes quiet when they ask for a, for a, uh, uh, a question, and then when you play it back, it's like they, you know, were you were you a a, um, a member of the Confederate Army? Then you hear this, yes, you know, yeah, very yeah. very yeah. rough yeah. voice, yeah, yeah. That's a rough voice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That can, yeah, that's uh, that's again very very compelling compelling stuff. And with yeah with yeah, it adds so up. When, when, when it, it adds up when when people talk about Civil War battlefields. They automatically go to the big ones, you know, Gettysburg, mm -hmm. Manassas, um, mm -hmm. you know, Antietam. But you rarely hear about the Battle of Cedar Mountain or the mm -hmm. Battle of Brandy Station. Yeah. But people still died there. People oh, were still yeah. wounded. Yeah. Trauma happened. Yeah. So it, it's it's fascinating to me what what happens when you go to the lesser visited battlefields. Uh, particularly ones that happen to have a distillery built on them, mm -hmm. and you know, it's it's great <laughs> to find out that there is something. There, there's a I little mean, bit the of guy didn't, He feel like he didn't wasn't mad at anybody. No. Oh no, no, he no, was no, no, just no. kind of like having a conversation at the bar. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really. if I was wandering the earth as a as a ghost, I couldn't pick a better spot. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, I always wonder about these ghosts. Do they uh, do they come and go? What do they? You have to call them in. So, I want to address that in 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 a moment. Um, I want to show this clip okay. happening in um, uh, happening in, in the barrel room, and this leads into the to, the to the last big clip that we want to show you. Now, Phil can tell you a little bit about these motion lights. Now, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Go so ahead you're going to see these this. motion lights in this clip, and there are you know, 10.99 on Amazon.com. They're the motion lights. You pop a couple batteries in and you put them on your stairs right, right. so you don't Make fall down at night and they come on. Okay. Uh, but what I've done is I've made, I've basically blacked out most of the sensor so it's just a little pinprick. So you have to move right across that light to get it to turn on. So the rest of the sensor is blocked. Uh, and we've had some interesting interactions mm -hmm. with those little dime okay. store motion lights. And to give you an idea of where we are in this, don't worry, it's not going to stay black like this. <laughs> but um, I'm up front. I'm closer to the front. Phil is at the back. 
with the the mannequin that I swear was moving while you know at the end of the hallway. <laughs> oh, but, the one in there. Yeah, exactly. But uh, you you'll did see not what, like the mannequin. I did not like the mannequin. <laughs> but here here's what we uh, we got in the uh, in the the, the barrel room. What I'm saying. Did you set that off? I did not. I'm trying not to move here because. <laughs> well, yeah. That was behind me. I whispered. That was behind me. All right. Um, everybody, be quiet for just a moment. I'm just going to do the knocking again. So let me just see what happens. That's me. There's no way that could have been me. <laughs> that is you knocking. Yes. That is me knocking. Yeah. You got three motion lights on. Yep. And I found that interesting that as soon as I knocked on the barrels, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. This is me moving back and forth. So now he's trying to set the lights off himself. Go off. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can make them go off. I know it's going to make this one go off, but I did not make that one go off. <clears throat> if you're here in, uh, let me try that again. <laughs> if you're in here with us, can you give us some kind of a sign? Any sign of your choice? So again, just as a, a, a quick, you can hear my voice very clearly because I'm standing right next to the camera and this shadow back here is filled, which means there's nothing there's between us. There's a space between us. So this brings a, a, a quick question for me. Uh, concerning distilling, when you're aging stuff in the barrels, do you ever have to knock against them just to check to see if... Yeah, you just check to see if it's full where the fill level is. Sometimes yeah, okay. too much angel share going away. Oh, okay. Okay. And you're half a keg or something. Okay. Uh, this oh. is this is kind of playing into my narrative then, <laughs> because <laughs> and, and did you want to watch that clip again, or did you have any questions about that clip? Well, I understand the motion light, uh, but it's interesting that you got so many to go off. Three of them. It's going which to be one, the same which one. Which one made you go off? Which one was you? The one. The one. I think there was one. The Phil put by me because I was. You heard me rocking back and forth on a specific plank yes. to try to set it off. Yes, because it was on that plank, and right. you really had. And it's not conclusive that you set that off either, because you were still quite a bit away from that one. Right. So we'll just. So let's. We, we can watch that again, and you'll see what uh, what happens. So I'll, I'll talk through it this time. So Phil's in the back. I'm up here. First motion light goes off. Did you set that off? Behind, behind, behind the transport. Behind I'm trying not to move here because okay. this And then you'll hear very faintly behind Phil. So I hear yeah, it sounds like yeah. someone's moving. Who yeah. is that? What was that? Who is it? We don't well, know. it wasn't us. It wasn't us. <laughs> Everybody be quiet. Because we were still, just still at that I'm point. Do the knocking again. So and then I knock on the happens. barrels. That's me. And you're saying There's that's me for the knocking. I'm saying that's me for the knocking. To announce the knocking. But the lights. And I have. And again, this is playing into a. This is playing into a narrative, and I. I hope you'll entertain this narrative. Um, but yeah, I, I find it thing. interesting how I knocked on the barrels, and those things yeah. just went off. This is me moving back and forth. So I'm, I just want to see if I can make that one go it's off. A, you're moving for quite a while there. I know it's going to make this one go off, and then you but seem, I did not make that one go off. And you seem to have stopped moving, and then it went off, yeah, too. So exactly. Again, inconclusive <clears throat> about that one light, but... Now, the barrel room was the room that got some of this started. Yeah. Because yeah. we had guests, some would go uh, to the barrel room uh, and take pictures. If you're yep. mm -hmm. And every time they'd come back and show me, the ghost following me. <laughs> Well, I, I will. Thought that was kind of and neat. I will say this too about the barrel room. Uh, I found some footage that I had forgotten about. I was going through some folders mm -hmm. this morning. Yeah, yeah. And I sent it to you, and in the first few minutes, you hear all kinds of, of knocks. Right. But no now, one. But well, no one. But no one was back there at all. We were all on that well, side. Well, I just say it was my grandpa back there walking the hall. Okay. <laughs> Funny you should say that. 
Is it Grandpa or your father? Well, now I can tell you, uh, well, yeah. we always said it was Grandpa back here walking the hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then one day we had a seance in that room. Yeah, okay, good for you. And I expected to talk to my grandfather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't get him. You know, they, uh, they played this... Uh, Radio back, you know. Yeah, okay. the spirit box. Goes, spirit you, box. You, 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 as fact, I think you mentioned that in this yeah. clip. Oh, we're mm -hmm. about to watch. So, first off, I want to make sure that before I present my findings, these, yeah. I'm going to say this. I haven't even had a chance to check this with Phil, so Phil may actually debunk me in this moment. But <laughs> anyway, I need to finish with the sands because it was my father. So one of the things that I want to make sure that you're that you both are aware of is we are not here to convince you of anything. These are our theories yeah. based on what you've told us and what's going on. Okay. And I put together this compilation because this is a compilation from not just the investigation but the uh, the preliminary tour mm -hmm. that uh, that we got from Chuck. I prefer montage. A montage, <laughs> if you a montage, if you will. But I also like to. But I'm going to go on ahead and play this clip because <laughs> this is you basically telling the story about the spirit box and. Pip and I love this story, because, but we think that it really does play into what's going on here. And I'll just go on ahead and play it and let the, let the, mon, let the montage talk. Thank you. <laughs> see back here. They claim late at night you can hear footsteps. <laughs> Somebody okay. walking around. And some lady came and took a picture of me and she got a lot of doubles. Interesting. Ah, uh, Interesting. You know, like somebody was following me and then... Not this guy, I hope. Not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the other people that came, they put off some, off, some kind of thing here to attract right. the sounds. And they were able to talk to the spirits. And, yeah. and my grandpa said hello to me. And, oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Neat. Now, I, I, so if you don't want my asking... So he was in the business of whiskey making. Yeah. He was the one that taught you. Yeah. So uh, how did you know it was your grandfather? I recognized the voice. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was That's weird. Amazing. That was really weird. Yeah, that was a weird that was a weird one. My son was with me that. And you know, okay. and and we when you have those moments, you know, we have been doing this for a little while now, and so we've had several of those moments, those big moments over the over the years, and it doesn't necessarily have to be something like you are floating in your chair, you see a ghost <laughs> walk by. But just to just to hear a voice that you just know, and you f you feel it in your yeah, you feel I mean, it in your I very know, heart. Just, I know that. Yeah. yeah. So let me yeah, let me set. Well, where did he go? I mean, so let me set this up. This right here is something that we're doing called an SD session. An SD session is where we listen to a spirit box, which, as I was, you know, that's where the voices are uh, snippets of voices are coming through. It's making that sound. But the thing is, Phil and I, uh, we, we're, we're in darkness. We, we, we can't see. All we can hear is what's coming through the Coming through that box. radio. That's through it. that radio. We don't hear Tina or Pip, who are off camera. And uh, you'll see what happens. Yeah. And, just, what happens and just, to, just to be as yeah. clear as possible, so Tina and Pip are asking questions of the spirits in the room. Mm -hmm. And the theory is that we cannot hear them asking questions, oh. and we can't, and that we're just hearing words that are coming through on these radios okay. and then we say it out loud okay oh i see mm -hmm. so and that's both of you that's, that's both. both of us i'm the handsome guy i'm yeah. right i'm the other guy <laughs> how many of you okay again okay. 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 so we can't hear each other careful careful Is that you? I just heard an old man's voice on here. I don't know what it said, but it was an old man's voice, and something inside me just said that was that was Chuck's grandfather. I don't yeah, know why. Could be. I don't know why, but I heard <laughs> that old man's voice very clearly. But right before I heard that gruff old, and it was, it was a very gruff old man's voice. Yeah. The REM pod went off as well as Simon went off. And boom, yeah. And, and I think that's worth pointing out. We heard that uh, Chuck's granddad was back here. Sir, are you here? What is that? Exactly. So we heard something moving. Yeah. We heard that uh, Chuck's granddad was back here. Sir, are you here? And 
you had mentioned you'd heard footsteps in the back. The question is, who is haunting you? Yeah. So who are these people that come and go? Do I know them? Maybe. I mean, I like to think that, you know, our ancestors check maybe in on us from time to time. Come, check on come in, check on, or maybe in moments where we need just a little extra push. You know, a place like this that might have this activity happening might also stand out like a beacon, maybe. And people without bodies, you know, souls passing through might see just the energy of this spot, and it's a good energy in this location they might just want to pass through and, and, and see what this is all about before they move on to wherever else they're going. Because mm -hmm. when you say you're haunted, it, it, there's a negative connotation about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But looking at, the, at what we, we caught just in these few clips, I'm going to go out on a limb, which I rarely do, and say, I would not be surprised at all if this was the spirit of your grandfather. Because, yeah, for, because for things such as, one, it responded when I said, when I specifically asked for the grandfather and said, sir, are you here right now? And we heard a footstep. Yeah. You yourself said you've heard footsteps back yeah. there. On top of that, there was the gruff voice that came through and my gut instinct was like, this is his grandfather. Yeah. And then on top of all that, when I knocked on those barrels, which I'm sure your grandfather did and taught you how to do, all three of those motion lights went yeah. off. Yeah. And those motion, in the previous clip, all three of those motion lights went off and I thought, huh, could that be a spirit? And this is all could be, sure. But that could have been a spirit reacting to the fact that I was, it was almost like I was checking on the barrels just yeah. to see how they were. And maybe running up to you to make sure you're doing it right. Exactly. Like, exactly. Who's this knucklehead Who banging, this on, knucklehead? banging yeah, on my exactly. barrels? <laughs> but um, I, would, I would venture a guess to say sure. And if you feel that, and if you feel that in your, in your bones, you know, there's, there's nothing malicious here. If anything, I feel mm. like I feel like whatever is here, um, and that again goes back to the grandfather idea. Um, they're keeping an eye on you to make sure that mm -hmm. a everything's going smoothly. B you're in good health, and mm -hmm. I'm sure after today they're probably thinking in the in the room. Well, he got him in the air conditioning. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just to echo that sentiment, I mean, I. I it's a good place. The energy here well, is good. I wonder good. why they don't make themselves more pronounced. I mean, it's like you got to go back there and really you know, it, work hard to get them to say something. Yeah, maybe it's hard for them to, to get to come get their energy chair. across. Mm -hmm. They could be very tired after yeah. sniffing all of those fumes back yeah. there and just like, I got to have a lie down. The angel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the angel maybe that share. too. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think, you know, it, it takes a certain amount of energy, mm -hmm. right, to be able to make that connection. Right. Yeah. To come through. And to come through. Well, I think they're all friendly ghosts. Oh, I, very. hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Very. hundred yeah. percent. And they love yeah. this place. I mean, I'm, I'm sure uh, there, was a, there was a great story from the Battle of Cedar Mountain where apparently before the generals got here, they were doing trading back and forth, uh, you know, across the, across the creek. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. having a grand that. old time. Yep. Then the generals get here and go, what are you guys doing? We're <laughs> in the middle of a war. And they're like, yeah, but... They had dominoes. We had yeah. soap. We, we had to make a trade, you know. Yeah. They were trading right at the creek. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, you so know, that. Even, some of them had girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> of course <laughs> they, they did. Cross the line, yeah. get it, and get uh, them back. Man yeah. in uniform, everybody. Man yeah. in uniform. But, again, it's a, it was something that <laughs> Pip and I picked up the moment we visited this place was that this just had a really nice, mm -hmm. positive feel about it. Yeah. And the fact that we were welcome to come in here to investigate was also a big plus. And then when we got into the investigation itself, it's like, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's out of all the places we've been to, hands down, this is one oh, yeah. of my really? favorite spots. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, 100%. All right, you want to need a shot of rum? I wouldn't say no. Maybe you know what? A nice little victory lap? Rum and coke? Rum and coke, maybe. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll do a straight yeah, shot. We'll, we'll, you want yeah. a straight shot? We can yeah. do a straight shot. Straight. Liquid curls. There you go. That is, oh, that that is a high proof. It's uh, 92 wow. proof. You no, it's 96. Oh, 96? Yeah. Wow. Now, which one is this? This is the rum. Oh, this is the rum? Okay. The straight well, up. The straight up? Yeah. Right. Well, well to, all, to, to all the souls, past and present and future, to yeah. come through yeah. here, <laughs> thank you for on their way. sharing passing your through. Yes. Yeah. Keep on passing Enjoy through. Enjoy the spirits. Yeah. There there you go. Go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Cheers. 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 All right. Victory lap. Yeah. Hmm. Whew, I can't just, I can't just I will tell you, though, <laughs> that doesn't, Holy it doesn't hit like a 92%. So it's so no. smooth. It's very good. Now, granted, if I was at the Ren Fair, I could do the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 
that yeah that was the chai spice chai spice baby for the win that's mm, that might <sighs> Thank be you. my Thank new favorite much. so let's have a serious moment here we've talked about this before repeatedly both in episodes and also in a couple of paranormal personals when we talk about building narratives. And this one was kind of tricky because unlike the candy factory where we were getting the name of Edwin over and over again and we were actually able to get in and corroborate with history and find out that there was a death with someone named Edwin, at the distillery we didn't have anything like that. We just had Chuck's overall impression of, oh yeah, I heard, I heard the voice, it was my grandfather, and I recognized the voice. Yeah. But when I look back on all the evidence and I noticed how everything was going off as if to alert people that something was going on, and then Chuck walks in, everything goes quiet. And the impression, and that's, this is where I want to turn to you about this, okay. about is this a dangerous path that I was going down, but the impression I was getting with Chuck being convinced that he had heard his grandfather's voice. The thing I experienced where I heard an elder's voice during the double Estes, and then the way all the devices were working until Chuck came in and everything calmed down, I really got the impression that it was his grandfather. And his grandfather, along with everybody else, is just keeping an eye on the distillery, making sure yeah. Chuck is okay and the distillery is okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's a, it's an important topic to discuss because in terms of the narrative that comes through when you're on an investigation, being, whether it be a, a unintentionally false narrative, right. a narrative fabricated through editing, or simply just what is coming through on an investigation, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's gray area. In, in right. between each of those, with respect to what we experienced at the distillery, and maybe Chuck's granddad didn't pass there, but you know he was tied very closely to that land, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. to that river, to that business, to the to, to the art, to the art to of the making art of making moonshine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. in the words in the words of Chuck. My granddaddy taught me to make it 50 years ago. I've been selling it for 25. Yeah. Do the math. And yeah. you know, it, it's that it's it's it was really it, it was really special sharing some of these clips that we had with Chuck it really was. because there is something there. I do think there's something there, but farthest thing from, and I, as I told him, I don't think it's malicious. I don't think it's dangerous. If anything, it's it when they saw us coming, they were like, "Who are these chowderheads?" And well, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the the sense that I got was just an older mm -hmm. guy just mm -hmm. checking out what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, at, at yeah. first like you know who are these yahoos and what exactly. are they doing? What are they doing on my lawn? Yeah, where's Chuck? Where's my shotgun? Where's, where's Chuck? He should know what's happening. Yeah, exactly. There. And then Chuck, and then comes, Chuck in. comes in and is interacting with us, and then all right, we're good. There was less of a protective mm -hmm. vibe and more yeah. of just a. Now what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm serious. Props to Chuck. Props to yeah, Chuck for yeah. sticking around with us, watching us do this thing. You know, if he thought we were uh, working with a screw loose, you know, at least he was just along for the yeah, ride. Yeah. And, and it was fun. Yeah. It was fun working with Chuck and showing him how these different objects worked and just uh, and also explaining to him what our impressions were. Mm -hmm. and, and it's that... And that I, I think I, I think we made that clear to Chuck yeah. at the reveal, and I also think <clears throat> we're being you know completely transparent here. There is an investigation part to mm -hmm. the paranormal investigation, and mm -hmm. I feel like when you're when you're building a narrative based on what you found, it is very easy to go down a path where you create a false narrative, and you've got to be careful about that, and that's part of the responsibility of you as a as a paranormal investigator, bring to the table. Right. I, I think we handled yeah, it responsibly. I think so too. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, my final comment on for today <laughs> on the subject <laughs> today. of narratives. 
most times you don't know for sure. I no. would say all the time you don't know for sure. But there's some times where there's you have very little idea. You have very little evidence to go on. Your gut is kind of telling you maybe this is what it is. And in those moments, you need to be honest. I say, I cannot base this on anything other than a vibe I'm getting or something we caught on the device. I have nothing to substantiate this. It's if situational. You want this, if you want to say it. Yeah, yeah, it's situational. And yes, there are some circumstances involved. It's very mm -hmm. circumstantial. Yeah. But when you have so many circumstances repeating that, themselves yes, and then. leaning in that direction, it's kind of hard to say, oh, this is just pure speculation. I wouldn't say it's pure speculation. Right. But I would say that, yeah, there is something at the distillery. And I'll be honest, yes, the spirits at the distillery. And I'm not talking about the, <laughs> I'm not talking about the ones from the ethereal plane. I'm talking about the ones that are in the bottles. They are some beautiful spirits. And if you're ever in the Culpeper area, yes, go on ahead and check out Belmont Farm Distillery. It's a great place. Um, we need to see if we can make it to their, I believe it's called Barbecue Bourbon and Blues Fest. They have that out there. We, we need to get this boy out there. And while he processes that, thank you all so very, very much for joining us for this episode and this investigation at Old Spirits. From all of us here, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.